So today I am coming to you with the four keys that you need to really get what you want. So last week I was feeling like, at the end of the week I was feeling like I was in a little bit of a slum, didn't want to work out, didn't want to be social, didn't want to do anything. You know, it was like a little hazy cloud was over me. Let me know if that's ever happened to you before. So took a little motivation 911. Something I've been learning about a lot this last year is like finding some personal development to do to get myself out of my funk. And that comes in many, many forms, podcasts, um, inspiring videos or books or whatever. And I'm reading a really good book right now that is just pure gold. The whole thing is pure gold. It's clear. And I just wanted to share the um, keys from one chapter that I opened last week when I was super feeling in a funk because it spoke to me really, really, really hard. I opened up the chapter, it was called Interest Versus Desire. And I thought this was so timely, especially with New Year's around the corner and, and things we say we're interested in but we're not really committed to. So, you know, like I'm super interested in learning Spanish but not really committed because not doing any of these four things. So, um, to really commit to something, four keys, and um, unless you have a real commitment, it's only like promises and hopes. There's no real plan. So if you don't have a plan, you're not probably gonna get there. So the first key was a strong desire. And that means you have to dig deep and find that emotional, um, personal connection, compelling connection to really make you want something. Like, um, you know, otherwise you won't have a reason to fully commit to it. So you, I, you know, I can't help but use like health and wellness related examples here because that's what I do, right? So sorry if that's redundant to you, but if it was, you probably wouldn't be standing here on this page, right? So um, that's why when people have weight loss goals sometimes, they might not always succeed because they're looking so far out. They're not like coming up with a really po personal compelling thing and looking at like some of those short-term wins that they could have, plus the other three keys. But um, they only see the end result that's months away and they get a little bit discouraged. So you have to really like visualize and emotionalize like how are you going to feel when you can chase your kids without being winded? Like how are you gonna feel when your back stops hurting so much because you're carrying around your children? Um, you know, stuff like that. So how are you gonna feel when you go on this trip with your husband and you feel so confident? Like it's things like that that pull in that like actual personally compelling reason that you you have to like focus on that first so a really strong desire if you don't have a strong desire to do something then it's probably just an interest something you can't really get committed to and get behind um second key is like your core action so it's really only like one or two things that can really move you forward to that end step so um if you have a really intense desire to reach those goals you have to identify what those core actions are going to be for you going to be specific for whatever result that you're trying to get like if I am trying to learn Spanish like I need to go find like one or not too many but just enough to like get me in and get me practicing and going I gotta find those couple resources to move me forward so back to health and wellness like maybe you have like a done for you kit you already have all the exercises you already have the food plan like what do you have to do next what's your core action like you have to do the workout like what else do you have to do what are those core actions you actually have to spend a few minutes doing every day like once you know what those are then you can um, figure out what number three would be which is going to be figure out what your commitment cost is going to be because anything worth it doesn't really come easy right it doesn't land on your lap like a something uh it doesn't just land on your lap right so if you are going to be committed to something it's going to require a sacrifice because anything worth it uh you know takes a little work right? this is new year's resolutions right here we claim our commitment to things sometimes just because we feel like we have to um without really considering the costs and the hardships that we might have to undergo so back to health and wellness examples i am a huge proponent of seven to eight hours of sleep a night 100 percent, completely but like if you can't find any other time during the entire day that you're gonna do those five, 10, 15, 20 minute, 30 minute core action to move yourself forward, then you know you haven't really considered what the costs are gonna be, right? So the fourth one is to act on commitments and not feelings. So I feel like I said this pretty recently, but you, um, you have to go by, don't, act on what you feel right now like you have to think about what you want in the future so don't let how you feel right now um, prohibit like the actions that you have to do to move forward move that needle forward for the very future okay so act on your commitments not your current feelings because guess what it is um, it is dark uh, 
later and later in the morning right now and I would just love to not ever get out of my bed and do something. It took me like three months when I first started exercising for the first time in my life to decide that I was gonna I was finally gonna try to commit to waking up early um, to make my day a little bit better. And so that's just one example. But you know, it's it was a commitment I said I was going to do, so I actually had to do it because um, it only counts when you do it. Otherwise, it's just kind of empty, empty promises, right? Empty hopes, right? So, um, needless to say, getting a lot of inspiration from this book. In fact, um, I was feeling so pumped up right after I read it that I went ahead and just like wrote all this, paraphrased this all up in a quick blog post. So I'll just put it in the comments in case you want to quickly scroll through it. So um, back to recap, uh, if you, it's all about interest versus commitment. Like a lot of us just say we're interested in things, um, but we're not really committed. And the four things that we have to have to be committed to something are like a really strong, emotional, compelling desire. We have to identify a couple, just a couple core actions to move us forward. We have to consider what the cost of the hardships are going to be for us um, to, to do that commitment. Like if it's beyond what we're really capable of doing right now, then maybe it's not going to work. Like maybe we have to figure out what else we can take off our plate so we can put this on because we can't always be adding more and more and more to where we feel um, just completely overwhelmed. We have to decide what we value the most and put that on top, okay? And then the last one is act on your commitments, not your feelings because so often your current feelings are going to prohibit you from doing what you really, really want, promise. So that's it. I'll post a little um, summary in the comments and I'll talk to you soon.